Hello Wobblies, welcome to Wobbly Otter Outdoors. I'm Chris, and this is Skatie. In the comments of our plow disc cooking pan comparison video, David L. said, that there is just an overpriced walk. Prove me wrong. Challenge accepted. In this video, we're taking a look at a 14 inch wok and an 18 inch plow disc cooking pan. We're gonna compare them, see how they're the same, and see how they're different. This is not a sponsored video. We purchased these items ourselves. This is a wok. This is a plow disc cooking pan. It's also called a discotta, which is the name of a dish that you can cook in the plow disc cooking pan. It also goes by the name of disco and cowboy wok. Plow disc cooking pans were originally made from converted agricultural plow disc blades. They fill up the hole in the bottom that the axle once went through, put handles on it. Some are still made that way today. The diameter of the plow disc pan is 18 inches. It is 2.2 inches deep. It weighs 11.6 pounds and it is 3.8 millimeters. The pan is made of carbon steel and it has steel rings welded on to each side. The wok is generally believed to have originated in China over 2,000 years ago during the Han Dynasty. Early versions were made of cast iron. The wok is 14 inches in diameter. It's 4.4 inches deep, weighs three pounds, and the sidewalls are 1.3 millimeters thick. It is made of carbon steel. While the handle on this one is wood, often walks will come up with metal handles. To try them out, we are stir frying some chicken thighs, some kukuza squash, and some jalapeno peppers. The 18 inch plow disc cooking pan by Southwest Disc is super nice. It's very thick and it heats up slowly because of that. However, it does retain heat. The outer rim of the plow disc pan isn't usually as hot as the center depending on the heat source. So that makes the edges great for keeping food warm or warming things like tortillas or bread. With its tall walls, the wok is perfect for stir fry. It's also great for anything that has a lot of liquids like soups or braising. You can use it for braising. You can also use it for deep frying. Because of its thin walls, the wok heats up quickly. The nice thing about this wok is it has a wooden handle. This particular one is relatively short, so it's still nice to use a hot mitt when handling it.
I like both the wok and the plowdisk pan. They each serve a really nice niche. I believe that they are different, especially because the higher walls of the wok. The plowdisk pans are wonderful. We also have a 22 inch and we did a video on that one as well. Both are by Southwest Disc. They're nice because you can stir fry in them as long as you don't go crazy flipping the food around. You can also cook burgers in them. You could maybe braise a little if your meat was really flat. They're just a really nice, good all round pan that um, if you have quite a few people, it's fun to cook in. Both pans will last a long time and have a nice patina on them that develops over time and will help them be non-stick. So I really appreciate David's comment. It made for an interesting look into the history of both pans. They definitely have different origins. And to me, they're different. Let me know what you think in the comments below. We always look forward to reading what you have to say. Product links are in the description. Thanks for watching Wobbly Otter. We love you and we hope all your tomorrows are bright. Until next time.